is going on everyone, and no, the intro did not mess up. What you just saw was just the beginning of the brand new chapter in the YouTube channel. For those who follow me on social media, you obviously know that just a while back I did post it saying that I had not one, not two, but I had three major announcements coming soon and this is that exact video. And since I'm kind of like the show and don't tell type, you kind of already saw the first announcement and it's actually true. My YouTube channel name has in fact changed to the OMG Critic. Now you're probably actually thinking like, well, why did you change it? Why is it the OMG Critic? Why is it not Sean Daniel? What was wrong with Sean Daniel in the first place? Like, why all this changes and stuff? Well, basically the idea is this. The name Sean Daniel, even though it is my first and middle name, it was never intended to be the actual title of the YouTube channel. When I was actually first starting off back in 2020, I literally had no idea what to call this channel in the first place, so I just used my name, typically, because I'm like, well, okay, it could mean anything for Sean Daniel. I didn't actually know it was going to be for movie reviews and TV and anime and all that stuff. I was trying to experiment, really, and eventually I started to realize, like, okay, now I know what direction I want to go towards. So, eventually I spent the next few months trying to think up a name, and I was like, okay, I'm like trying to come up with all these weird ideas, like, they're not sticking, and then I was like, like, oh my god, and then I was like, OMG, like, obsessive movie geek, and I was like, you know what, that's not bad. And yes, I'm completely aware that the channel does talk about TV and anime, but at least it still sticks within that media franchise with movies and anime and all that stuff, so it's still gonna stick there to it. I'm gonna break that rule a little bit, but it can't be too much of a big deal. And why is it geek? Well, I'm a geek. It's pretty much self-explanatory, and also the fact that I kind of think of it kind of like as a spiritual sequel, but also... It's kind of paying homage to Geek of the Week as well because I know people who have, who have seen me since high school doing that show, that word geek really does come a long way, so you know what I'm talking about. But the thing is, it doesn't actually just have to be just for obsessive movie geek, you can also use it for, oh my gosh, that movie sucked, or oh my gosh, that movie was great, you know, it kind of works out in both ways. So announcement number two is that I will also be expanding my movie reviews to not only YouTube, I will be expanding to other media such as Letterboxd. If y'all don't know what Letterboxd is, because I just basically found out what that was two weeks ago, it's kind of like Rotten Tomatoes, but it's not with the professional critics, it's basically with the general audiences. You can even blog about what did you actually think about the film, give your own personal review, either spoilers or non-spoilers. But not just that, I just don't want it just to be like, oh, it's just your YouTube channel, but just in words. I'm like, no. I actually want to do each segment different, which will be my third announcement, but I'll explain that later. But here's the thing though, just because my movie reviews are going to be in written form, that's not exactly the only thing that's going to be on there. Pretty much what you're also going to see there is a bunch of lists. You're also going to see like lists of what I think were the greatest films of either of, of this decade or within this genre. You're pretty much going to get that type of stuff as well, so look out for those. It's not going to be much right now on Letterboxd, but just to let you know. It is being added. So my third and final announcement is this. I am also going to be adding different content to the YouTube channel by adding short movie reviews. Basically, I'm not going to go away doing like my five minute reviews or I'm not going to go away doing my skits. That's still going to be on this channel. And I actually do plan on doing at least one or two movie reviews full length on my YouTube channel a week. But regardless, we're still having movies coming out each and every day. And I can't talk about every single movie because YouTube is not my full-time job, I have to actually work a real job outside of this, and if anyone who's ever made a video in their entire life, you guys obviously know that making a video is not easy. You got filming, you got editing, you got sound editing, you got lighting, you got all this crazy shenanigans, and it could take a day or it could take hours to just make one simple video. But when it comes to making YouTube shorts, I can do that within just a few minutes. Now the way how I'm going to do it though is this. I will be acknowledging some films that either are not mainstream or that are still coming out, they're just not the big popular movies, and I will post them on two platforms. I'm going to be having my one minute YouTube short reviews, just get straight to the point, no dilly dallying, just talk about it, give, give my opinion, do the score, and that's going to be on YouTube, but the other place that I'm going to is TikTok. I will be expanding the channel also on TikTok. But here's the thing though, since I did say that I want every content to be different from each other and some exclusive, TikTok will have a much more 
extended version of it. Instead of 60 minutes, it might go above it. I'm not saying it's gonna be like that for every video, but let's just say you might get just a little bit more details than what YouTube Shorts are doing. But which one is it gonna come out first? It's gonna be first on my TikTok channel. But then after like maybe like 30 minutes or so, it'll then eventually get edited to one minute and it'll move to YouTube Shorts. So I'm gonna have both on my TikTok, which is the full length version, and then I'm gonna have my one minute version on YouTube Shorts. So yeah, best of both worlds. So as much as all this is happening right now, you got the name change, you got the blogs, and then you got TikTok and YouTube Shorts. This is all gonna come together smoothly because, I mean, well, it might come together smoothly for you because I'm the one that's actually posting the videos, but I know I'm gonna be working like a mad dog, so. But you know what? This is actually stuff I love, so. It actually makes me happy, and I just love just coming, being on camera and just talking about movies that even if I love it or I hate it, I just love doing this, and I just like sharing my thoughts and opinions with you guys, so. Well, here's the thing though, how are you gonna find me on Letterboxd? How are you gonna find me on TikTok? Well, that's a simple answer. All the links will be in my about section of this YouTube channel, but they'll also be in the description down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and look forward to my first YouTube short review where I will be discussing the Disney Plus exclusive film, Pinocchio. So anyways guys, if you haven't already, subscribe here to the channel for more content. Until then, see you next time.